tell you guys I just came home. I don't know. I feel like this light has been coming on like a lot earlier than it's supposed to. All right, I am showered. I am clean, fresh, ready to rumble. So I cut up a few things of the kale. I put some green onions in it and yep, here is my uh, black beans and rice. I'm just going to let it like chill out for another couple of minutes okay so my food's on the table my dessert i think i'm gonna need something like crunchy or like some type of like fresh vegetable some type of fresh uh, fresh vegetable but right now i feel like i need to whine and complain with you guys for a little bit just about like my job so i'm gonna sit down eat and like talk to you guys I have you guys on the tripod that I'm gonna use. It seems pretty good so far. Oh my goodness, I love these little things. Um, it's not as cold as I would want it to be. So for this episode of wine and complain, I'm not drinking wine right now, but let's pretend this is wine. <laughs> so my job is starting to be less like, I gotta I got close that window. Take two, had to close the window. So my job, well, at least with like this new management, it's starting to be less and less honest. Like, like less and less honest. So like whenever we launch like a new product or a new toaster, we like promote that toaster, right? And certain type of toasters is more expensive. So we will like, promote the most expensive toaster even if well we're encouraged to promote the most expensive toaster that like toasts like 17 pieces of toast and is the most expensive or oh, whatever and there are a lot of people that's like single and just need like a toaster that only toasts like two or like four you know so we're like encouraged to sell like the 17 count toaster or oh, whatever and um our store is like the flagship for the 17 toaster so we promote that heavily and like kind of bend the truth and stuff and I am not okay with that so that's why I'm like not like the number one salesperson because if you come to me and you're like hey I want a new toaster there's like three people with my family um I don't eat bread that I don't eat bread that often but my husband and my son does uh what do you recommend I will recommend a toaster that like fits your house but no no, 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 we're encouraged to start off with the toaster that does 17 pieces of toast first, right? I can't do that. I'm not like, on a side note though, this looks like a great mush, but it's so good. The scallops are so good with it. This is a good, this is a good choice. Not like so good, like, oh my God, but it's, you know how when you think something's gonna be crappy and it turns out to be good, this is how it is. My phone's like blinking saying I have 10 minutes, I mean 10%, but I'm still going to talk about it. So, not only that, but then like my the new management team is kind of like sales oriented and not like anything else focused. Like, you know, like retail, they have like the impulse purchase bin, like impulse stuff. And then like retail, this like replenish and things like that. Like they don't assign people to like replenish it and stuff and like me and like a couple other people we're like the ones that like are replenishing things because like how can we offer the 18 count or whatever toaster i forget what number i was using but whatever the high count toaster how can we like recommend it and we can't even show it off on the floor you know because someone else sold it but didn't replenish the thing you know it's just like it's so it's so weird it's so weird like when you walk into a store right when things are like unorganized and like there's like one of an item or you know things like that it's not a good feeling like say if you go into the cafe and there's like a bunch of like inside the if you want to buy food right and you look inside the little pastry case and there's like one cookie on a plate that looks like it held more than one cookie, like, I don't know, 20 cookies or something like that. 
or like you see like oh something's like broken there was another cookie on another plate that's like broken it doesn't look good like hey i wanted a cookie it looks more appealing when like things are like full not like overly full but just like stocked up and it looks like people are taking care of the merchandise they don't care about that in my in my location they don't care okay but that's a different story i'm not even gonna get into it so what i'm gonna whine and complain about today is customers that are like so just like unempathetic and like just like oh i don't know i don't know what the right word is for it right now because i'm just too emotionally invested but at my store today there was this guy and he was parked like illegally where like you get a ticket he like go in the store there's like three people in line but like six people ringing up so you know it's gonna go by like quickly right i get the i'm the lucky person that gets him and he like throw down his card now mind you we still have like those plexis up so you throw down a card and then it goes behind the plexi no it slides on the counter and then falls behind the plexi so that's a thing right so i'm getting it out from under the plexi and we have we do like oh you know like memberships and stuff so um to do it we need like your member number or something to scan to like you know open up your account to start your order start placing your order so you can have a record of what you bought and we can have a record of what you bought at what time you know things like He's that like, oh give me three yellow no mind you we have like several things that's like yellow so like i'm just like what do you what do you like what do you know do you know the name of it oh we've been through i be through I, I go through this all the time give me three yellow give me three yellow and i'm like okay i'm gonna pick it all right three yellow something something then i'm like oh do you have an account then he like tells me his account number doesn't pull up then he tells me his account number doesn't pull up but then he's like uh you could either do it through like your email your phone number or if you know your account number like any type of whatever i could put in so i'm thinking he gave me his account number no he's given he i'm thinking he's giving me his account number no he's giving me his phone number just without the area code now mind you i'm just like you didn't tell me you're giving me your phone number so like that's a thing and then he's like keep looking outside the window keep looking outside the window whatever i get his order tell him the price but before we i uh, close it out i'm like oh we're offering like four new different items with different features do you mind if I talk about them for a little bit or are you just ready to go, ready to wrap this up? And then he's like, let's wrap it up. I've been here. You've wasted enough of my time. And I'm just like, okay. So again, he like threw his card down and it slid down. So I had his card on my counter. So I tell him the price and I start to ring it up. And then he's like, you don't even have anything to offer me. This is, you have some great customer service. And I'm like, I don't understand what you mean offer. You didn't even tell me about anything new, anything like that. And I'm like, I just offered you to tell you about these four new features that we have. And you said you wanted to wrap it up. And I apologize if I misheard you. And he's like, what type of promotions do you guys have? So I'm mean, telling him what type of promotions we have. And he doesn't want any of the promotions. But he wants me to speed up. So he's like, then he starts asking me about individually the four different features that we have um like because it's like a little clip a uh, little post-it not a post-it but like a little signage about the four new features so he's like oh what is this and i'm like explaining to him what is this i'm explaining to him what is this and i like and just like if you wanted me to talk about it i would have talked about it that's why i asked you beforehand but he seemed like he was busy so he gets like 30 dollars worth of merchandise right 30 dollars let's say 30 dollars right and um he's like oh and what do i get for free and i'm like um telling him again the promotions we have and he doesn't meet the quota to get the promotion like like sephora if you spend more than 30 dollars, you get something right you get a special thing but and then ours is like our establishment is the same way like you spend uh, you have to hit a quota before you get that amount you have to buy a certain amount of things before you get it he's like oh they give me free stuff all the time so i'm thinking maybe he wants samples so i'm like oh we didn't have samples at the moment. We ran out a couple hours ago. I do apologize. And then I offer him something like, oh, would you like some cleaning wipes um, before we check out? 
he's like how much are they and i'm like oh they're 8.99 no this is a ripoff this is a ripoff you're just really you're a really good salesperson and i'm like all right so i read the thing and i'm asking him is that is, is the price okay he's like oh you can change it and i'm like no i just want to let you know what i'm charging you for before i charge you he's like okay okay so then i'm like charging him for it and then he's like interrupted me now mind you we have like the old school thing we have to type in like the the number not the number of the card just like the uh the like you got to type in the amount but you also have to type in like the reference number um to whatever you're doing like if you're screened and this is how much it is there's a reference number on top of it and then you type in how much price it is so the credit card receipt and our copy of a receipt match up right so i'm typing it in and he keeps asking me like random stuff like how many yellows do you have and how many yellows did i get so i'm like oh yeah you got this this and this he's like oh let me get the cleaning wipes and i'm like okay you want the cleaning wipes tell him the price 8.99 whatever put then I have to start back over again because i already put in the price and you can't like go back you gotta start over so i'm like doing it over again and then i charge him hand him his card he runs out the store and then he comes back in the store cursing not cursing just like well because he didn't speak i don't know if it was italian or something like that but he's like cursing well it seems like he's cursing he's like i got a ticket i got a ticket and then like and i'm like oh, oh that's unfortunate so by that time i already had his bag ready his receipt all of that already inside the bag for him right and he's like oh what are you gonna give me for this ticket like, i'm sorry i don't have a car so i don't understand uh where you pay tickets and stuff like that but i'm pretty sure if you call 311 they'll help you figure it out he's like no do you think i'm dumb i know how to pay a ticket you know like uh something something about my job or something like can fig he could figure it out he doesn't need someone in my job to figure it out for him but he's like are you going to reimburse me for the ticket i got because you were too slow so i'm like oh our establishment isn't affiliated with new york city parking so we don't do reimbursement or anything like that he's like oh i know i know but it's your fault that i got this ticket and i'm just like what do you mean it's my fault he was like because you're too slow and i was like but you parked illegally i don't understand how you're making me you parking illegally my fault and uh he was like wow you're just so disrespectful this is the worst customer service i've ever had oh just like okay so i hand him his bag first of all he snatched it from my hands like aggressively and then he goes back to his car and we have like big bay windows so i see him like go to his car he opens the door and throws his stuff inside slams the door comes back in here and starts screaming at me and he's like oh this is ridiculous and where's your manager and now mind you i'm on the i'm on we have like um like walkie talkie type things so i'm like hey can i get a manager to the front and he's like screaming up a storm can i get a manager to the front like i kid you not five minutes later feels like an eternity and no managers on the floor no manager came so he was like ridiculous i bet you'd even ask for a manager to come and he like left out so that's what happened i just want to complain about it i made this video so long which i don't even know if i'm gonna i think i'm gonna scrap it to be honest pretty sure i'm gonna scrap this video but thank you for listening to me whine and complain I'll see you tomorrow in the next vlog.